and happy Friday. Welcome to Cincy Lifestyle. We are so excited. We made it to the end of the week. We made yep, it to the did. end of the week. Yes. And more importantly, payday. Oh, oh, I say that again? <laughs> yes. Payday. Oh, gosh, I love that. That's B flat, yeah. by the way. <laughs> it's, it's going to be a very eventful weekend, too. Yes, All it the is. sports. Yes, it is. Super oh, and we'll Bowl. be talking about football here in just mm -hmm. a moment. Oh, we sure will. Mm -hmm. yes, 49ers. We will. Oh, Tony geez. Pike in the house. Mm -hmm. And we'll be talking about some refreshments to have during the game mm -hmm. as well. Yes. Yeah. And Except we're not talking about nachos, which is what I wanted to talk about. Everybody but else is talking about nachos. Thank you. <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> but there's so many things happening this weekend, but if you're not a huge sports fan, there is something going on on Fountain Square. Mascot broom ball. I thought this was interesting. So it's still a little <laughs> bit of fun, competitive yeah. nature. So you're going to get a bunch of mascots from around the city. Oh, and watch this. This gets me every time. It's this polar bear. They were shooting a commercial and he kept falling. I wish I could hear the audio on this one. <laughs> it's so good. But yes, on uh, Saturday at 11 a.m. on Fountain Square, you can go and see some of your favorite mascots compete and play some broom ball. So you'll see uh, Who Day, Rosie Red, Mr. Red, obviously Aww. my favorite, the D'Artagnan. Yeah, well, what? yes, X U, yeah. Yes. Since he rolled the girls, <laughs> they'll be they'll be represented there. Yeah, as well. yeah, yeah. All yeah. right, I'm going to ask the obvious question: What's broom ball? Broom ball is on on ice. It's on Fountain Square on the rink, and it's just basically hockey with little with a sticks broom. and with a broom, and you don't you're not on yeah. skates or anything. Oh. And uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's going to be interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, th there'll be some folks having parties. Uh, Three Points Brewery, for instance, yes. will uh, uh, invite you to come in and watch the game and have a good time with them. You can bring your own food. You can order from their bar and kitchen on yeah. scene. That'd be yeah. a good thing. And That'd Nation. Be a lot of fun. Yeah, Nation Bar and Kitchen, which is actually across the street. Yes. Um, so they'll, you know, run that over. Oh, that'll be or you fun. can bring your own nachos. And that's what I'll be that's doing. That's what's good. Football, <laughs> football food of the choice is what for you guys? Oh. My the There's, food of choice. Yeah, it's mine. Is I have to have nachos. So it is nachos. Yes, it is. It really is. I make nachos. Any excuse to make nachos, I make them. <laughs> See, it's all about the layering. You have to right. layer the I nachos. I do. I layer. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I, I use sweet potato tortilla chips that I got from Trader Joe's. There you Who go. knew? So Who knew? A Who little knew? healthier, yes. There you go, mm. all right. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, also going on, and this is not a sporting event, this is more of a Ooh. fundraising <laughs> event, uh, but it is what's called the Polar Plunge. Now this is gonna be happening tomorrow morning, I think about 11 o'clock, uh, right out at Joe's Crab Shack, and you know what that is. <laughs> you get nearly naked <laughs> and dive into the Ohio Take River. Take the plunge, Would Whatever you the temperature. Do it? And this year may not be quite so bad, but there have been some years when that's been a, that, that's, that'll put hair on your chest. I mean, I mean, just the idea cold. of jumping into the Ohio River. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, but particularly, particularly this time of the year. Now, the, the, the uh, part of the inspiration for it, though, is that it's a fundraiser right. for the Special Olympics. So right. uh, if you know somebody that's who's it. going to take the plunge, or if you yourself are thinking about doing something good, maybe you'll choose yeah. to dive in for the special and event. document and it and send it to us. Yes, <laughs> yes, because yes, we yes, would yes. love to see that it. That would be great. Yes, we would love to see that. all these things. If you're going out to to, to participate and watch bloom, broom ball, bloom ball, broom ball. <laughs> yeah, take some photos for us. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah. Cincy Lifestyle so Facebook. Tag us. Mm -hmm. Well, with the big game coming up and you know what big game we're talking about. <laughs> that's just a few days away. Football uh, fans from all over will get together to see what's going to happen between uh, those two teams, the Kansas City Chiefs uh, and that other team from San Francisco. Uh, what do they call them? The 29ers? Yeah, whatever. whatever. Anyway, uh, but you want to get in on all the action, maybe throw around the old pigskin as well yourself. So we invited the one and only Tony Pike, former NFL player for the Carolina Panthers, my home state, and former quarterback coach for the University of Cincinnati, here with us this morning uh, to uh, give us a few pointers, if you will. Tony, thank you for joining. Absolutely. Us. Enjoy being here. Absolutely. So uh, I just gave the highlights of your career. Want to dive a little deeper for us? Yeah, so I uh, played at the University of Cincinnati, grew up here in Cincinnati, uh, drafted in the 2010 draft to Carolina, where I uh, was there two years. and. Um, Going into that second year, had the first of three elbow surgeries, oh, which, uh, which led to nerve damage in my elbow. And about at the same time, Carolina decided to draft a guy named Cam Newton. Yeah. So yeah. with that injury yeah. and then seeing that this guy's bigger and faster and stronger and taller than me, 
Whoops. The writing kind of became on so, the wall there. So he certainly he certainly got lucky. Uh, so now you're back in Cincinnati. Yeah. And tell us a little bit about what's going on with you. Now. Yeah, back in Cincinnati and, and couldn't play the game of football anymore. So I figured I would build back into quarterbacks in the area. So I train uh, quarterbacks all the way from sixth grade up to uh, got some college kids, one on one quarterback training. And outside of that, uh, do a, uh, a radio show for ESPN here in Cincinnati okay. on 1530 every day. So this whole thing about throwing the football, you know, you teach yes, other people teach to do it. it. So, so, share, so share with us a few pointers, a few tips. Yeah, well, the, the biggest thing is that guys think when they, they throw the football, and everyone that throws the football, they got to squeeze it super hard. Okay, so here, here, here come a couple of students, Allie yeah. and Mona. Um, yes! Mona is yes. yes. the, the yes. quarterback, I understand. Woo. Yes, yes she is I the am. quarterback. Yes, I am. <laughs> All right. Well, so the, the biggest thing, you start with a, a good base, so shoulder okay. width apart. And uh -huh. if your base gets too wide, then we lose our top hand pressure on the ball, and the ball, uh, that's where the ball flutters. That's been so, my problem all along. See? My base is too it's wide. The, it's been the base. <laughs> Now, some Please. people can't get around the fact of smaller hands or, I mean, this is a, a, a big football here for the NFL, but um, you can't squeeze the ball too hard. So you want to have a little bit of light. If you hold it up and the light would uh, shine through there. Okay. Oh. All right. So by, by loosening should up the grip a little bit, I don't know if we want to run. You want to do a flag? Pass yeah. Yeah. Down just and, just and hit a, an out and up. <laughs> but by loosening the grip, we get that. Nice spin, yeah. and then oh, we finish. Come on. Oh, you finish. We want to finish this way, it's so that your oh. your finger now, your right. your pointer finger is the last one come to back. come off the ball. All right. Okay, Allie. So. My hands are really small. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Oh, that was there good. You go. There, there you go. go. Okay, right. I'm seeing the little light. Seeing yep. the little light, and go towards the. <laughs> Do that? Okay. And no laces, Looks which like is even harder. Did you see, yeah, you see there we go. Yeah. It was, it was, it was basketball. It was Super Bowl March Madness is right around the corner. <laughs> yeah. Let's combine bit of volleyball. both. I like it. A little bit of volleyball was in there, I too. like it. Just right. combine both. So, so give us your evaluation of the quarterbacks who will be in the Super Bowl Sunday. Oh, uh, well, you, you got a little bit of, of a variety there. Jimmy Garoppolo had to throw the ball eight times last game. They rely a lot on the running game. They rely a lot on the defense. But he's shown in fourth quarter comebacks that he's capable of doing it. But on the other side of the ball, you got... Right now, I think the greatest in the game, Patrick Mahomes, because he's got the strongest arm. He can change his arm angles, and he's got a ton of weapons to throw to. Throw to and you got Andy Reid as your coach. Okay, uh, so do you, do, ha, as you handicap the game, have you figured out who you think has the best chance of winning? Well, it, it goes with Not who I... Not your sentimental favorite. Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's the problem. Who do you think has the best chance? I think the Packers <laughs> figured something out offensively against the 49ers late in that last game. And I think Andy Reid and that Chiefs offense can exploit those differences. Mm. Okay. And, you know, I, I played with Travis Kelsey at the University of Cincinnati. So I got to pull for him and hope that he has a celebration much like his brother Jason did when they won oh, the Super Bowl. Oh, tell us more. Tell us more. Well, Jason uh, dressed up in the full-on costume when Philadelphia yeah. won the Super Bowl. Um, and, I mean, had a, a couple <laughs> nice adult beverages along the way. And I think Travis would have to try to one-up Jason. Got it. Which would be fantastic TV. Well, Tony, you have a radio show. Tell folks where they can find you and yeah. get more insights. Every day, noon to one, uh, right here in Cincinnati on ESPN 1530. It's called Cincy 360. And we dive into, as hard as it is sometimes, <laughs> everything Cincinnati sports. So we'll talk Bengals, Reds, Bearcats, Musketeers, you name it. As hard as it is at times, we'll talk about it. Well, we certainly appreciate you coming to talk here That's with us right. and give us hey, a few pointers. Hey, where's the ball? Uh, no, Mona, no. <laughs> Tony, thanks a ton. Thank you. We appreciate, appreciate you having me. Thank you so much. Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Allie. <laughs> so fun. Well, it's never too early and it's never too late to begin a bucket list. That's why Baptist, Baptist Life Communities created their bucket list program to make dreams come true and share precious moments with their residents. Take a look. Every single day, we are striving to elevate senior care in this community. And part of the ways that we are doing that are with the bucket list program. There's a lot of individualization and person-centeredness in truly working with these patients and residents and their families to add life to the years that they have left here. Well, we don't just exist here we live here and we have a good time and we want to have more good times when a person is admitted here we do a story it's a my story 
and it's all about their life through the different stages of their life from early childhood through where they are right now. And the last question on the my story is what is your bucket list item? What is there what is there one thing that you have always wanted to do that you haven't been haven't gotten to do yet? And we've gotten all kinds of things. Um, sometimes the bucket list things are simple easy things like I want to go to a real bingo or um, I want to go to the casino so we've done those but the team tries to make uh, whatever the bucket list item is that the patient or resident wants to do we try to make it happen I wanted to go tubing and I had never went and uh, I went tubing and I loved it. I had a wonderful time. We are committed to continuing this program because even the things that we thought we couldn't do or we couldn't make happen, we, we have found a way to do that. And in a facility, it is important to remember that we all have purpose. Look beyond the things that we can see, the things that are tangible. Pop in, don't schedule a tour, pop in, unannounced, see how you are approached, see how the residents and the staff are interacting with each other and experience the difference because there is a difference. And if you'd like to learn more about Baptist Life Communities and their bucket list program, you can check them out at blcnky.com or give them a call at 859-727-9330. Mona? Well, coming up right here on Cincy Lifestyle, what's a celebration without something to drink? Well, we have a local spirit distillery here to show us how to shake up your sports gathering. Then we'll tell you about some snack ideas that are super to please your football fan friends this weekend. All that, so much more. I hope they have nachos. Coming up, just a few minutes. <laughs> Well, chances are you'll have a lot of guests this weekend and need something to entertain them. And right now I want to welcome Charlie Bollinger with Buckeye Vodka and Spencer Pup from Blocks Spiked Ice. Did I get your name right? Uh, Ballinger. Ballinger. Okay, Ballinger. Right. Thank you. All problem. right. Thank you both for being yeah, here. Thank you. All yeah. right. So you're going to make something for us today, right? Yes. I'm going to provide the supplies. Sure. Oh, that's a cold glass. It is. <laughs> So we are uh, Block Spike Dice. Um, we are launching our product next month. We make an alcohol infused ice cube. Simply to make a cocktail, all you have to do is peel off the top, drop your ice cube in a cocktail glass, and then you pour your vodka and you can pour soda, lemonade, or even ginger beer if you want to make a Moscow mule. So right now we're going to do uh, about an ounce and a half of Buckeye vodka, and we're just going to fill it all the way up to the top with lemonade. And you'll notice the, uh, the finished cocktail is actually over here to our right. Um, and that one's been uh, sitting there for about three or four minutes. You'll notice uh, once you do mix it with the lemonade and the vodka, it gets a real nice color to it. The strawberry really comes out and mixes with the lemonade. Um, and since our vodka is so clean, it, it doesn't take away from what the cocktail is supposed to taste like. It's a, it's a very, very drinkable, palatable cocktail. So is that what's the difference between this Buckeye vodka and other vodkas? Yes, that's our, our biggest difference. Um, we're actually distilled uh, 28 times. Um, through that process, we take all the impurities out of our vodka. Um, and to begin with, our base is actually distilled water. So we've done everything that we can to take out the burn, the bite, um, what the, the flavor that most people associate with vodka. And then, um, you know, once we get done distilling and filtering, we actually will taste test up against every national brand, every local brand, and make sure that we are smoother. If it's not smooth enough, we'll distill it more, we'll filter it more until we get to a product that we know our customers are going to enjoy, especially at our price point. At, under 20 bucks a bottle. Oh, wow. Yes. All right, that's really good. All right, so tell us about how you partnered with Blocks. Yeah, so our product really is a complement to um, any kind of beer, seltzer, or liquor mm -hmm. in the sense that you can add your own flavor and make your drink ice cold without diluting it because you're adding alcohol. Each one of our cups has 7.5%, and uh, we did a test market for two years and found out people really enjoyed our product, so we took all of those learnings and put it into this new brand that's launching next month. 
Okay, and so you have some collateral here as well. Yeah. What did you bring with you? Yeah, got we've got some t-shirts t -shirts for people. We've got a hat. Yeah, we've got a lot more um, you know, promotional items coming as when our brand launches. It will launch in Cincinnati mid-February, mid to late February. Um, and then we've got uh, you know, a lot of things coming up with Buckeye as well. Yeah. All right, Definitely. so tell me where people can buy this, sure. where they can get more information, where they can sure. get the Buckeye. So best answer to that question is uh, the Party Source. Yep. Um, we're actually doing a joint tasting tonight at the Party Source. Okay. Yep. So if you want to swing by, you can try Buckeye and, uh, and Blocks mixed together. Um, you know, there's a lot of versatility with the three flavors that they have. And for an event like the Super Bowl, um, you know, like we just demonstrated, you're making a cocktail with two steps and it's not going to get watered down. If anything, you're going to get more flavor by adding the blocks into, uh, into the right. cocktail. Mm -hmm. And that tasting is tonight at yep. the Party Source. What time? 4 to 7 p.m. 4 to 7. All right. Hope a whole lot of people will come oh, and check do. it out. Oh, yes. please Thank do. Please do. Thank you so yeah. much for coming yeah. on. Thank, Thank you, you. All right, Clyde. Each year, the big game brings out the best in game time snacks. So we wanted to talk to someone to help us surprise our guests with some of the latest and greatest snacks that are sure to get everyone excited about things. Joining us today from Frito-Lay's Casa de Crunch at Super Bowl Live in Miami is Chef Chris Scott from season 15 of Bravo's Top Chef. Chef Chris, thank you for joining us. We're going to dive right in. Where should we start when planning our big game parties? You know, I always say that when having a great party, you got to start with great ingredients and great products. Back in the day when I was on Top Chef, I was always looking for that wow factor with all the food that I was doing. I'm a huge fan of football, and I love getting together with friends and family and throwing big parties. It's kind of my thing, you know, and having great snacks is a must. As a matter of fact, 90% of fans expect chips and dips at their Super Bowl parties, which makes me super excited to be here at Casa de Crunch at the Super Bowl live in Miami to show off the delicious snack options that I have right here in front of you. All right, so tell us a little bit more about Casa de Crunch and those snack options. Yeah, so the Casa de Crunch experience here in Miami, it's gonna be here throughout the Super Bowl. And believe it or not, it's an actual house, right? with rooms that are themed to all your favorite Frito-Lay snacks. I'm talking Tostitos, Cheetos, Lay's, Doritos. All four brands have new products that just landed in time for the Super Bowl. Guests can come in, try out all the snacks, have a good time. Everybody back home can go to their local grocery stores nationwide and find all this stuff right there. All right, so you've probably had a chance to survey the new snacks from Frito-Lay. Got any favorites you want to share? Oh, yeah. Well, you know what? With all this right in front of me, I'm a big fan of everything. You know, <laughs> Tostitos actually just came out with this perfect new pair for parties. It's these Tostito strips and avocado salsa. The chips are thicker, they're crispy, they're hearty. They can go right into the salsa or whatever you got. You know, they're good apart, but they're even better together. Then Doritos came out with a flaming hot limon chip you know it, it's spicy it brings the heat uh, then there's the Doritos Cool Ranch now packed with even more Cool Ranch flavor then my favorite of all the Cheetos popcorn I'm talking cheddar and flaming hot right here you know I kind of use both of them right here as a garnish when I'm doing a ceviche I'm down here in Miami and ceviche was very popular so I use the garnish you know and it kind of gives that cheesy, kind of spicy kind of thing to it, you know. Then finally, I got three new Lay's flavors right here. Jalapeno, poppable sea salt, and the Kettle Cook Flaming Hot. They're all fabulous. All right, just a little bit of time left. What about when you serve up these snacks? Any tips from you? Well, you know what? If you don't have a lot of time to hang out in the kitchen, you can take a jar of salsa or cheese and pop it open, lay it right there. Take a bowl of chips it right there you know and it's it's perfect they have such a wide variety of what's happening that there's something for everyone that sounds great right quick where can we go to get more information about some great snacks you can head on over to fritolay.com it has all the clips all the recipes and everything that you need all right chef chris thanks so much we appreciate it and we'll be back with more Cincy Lifestyle on the other side of the break. Plus, be sure to check us out on Facebook. 
we post all our guest segments and community stories right there. So you can watch them again and again and share them with your friends. And Clyde's over here laughing, I don't know why. <laughs> so like and follow us right now uh -huh. at facebook.com slash Cincy Lifestyle. All righty, well, it's the last day of Ooh. January, and guess what happened? <laughs> that usually no. happens earlier oh. in January. That's right, we Look got a winter that. mix out there. So uh, be advised if you're going out, uh, things might be a little slick, slippery out there, so be careful. Now, would you walk up those steps today? <laughs> no, I <laughs> probably not. I wouldn't walk up them on a sunny, warm day. Yeah. So. Me either, right. Love well, coming it. up next week here on Cincy Lifestyle, we'll introduce you to a unique style of workout. It's called acro yoga, and it combines acrobatics with traditional yoga poses. We'll have an instructor and an enthusiast on the show to tell us all about it. And Allie will probably be there doing something. Yeah, like I'm it. sure Count she will. me in, whether, me. whether it's right or not, I don't know. <laughs> then we'll tell you about an important ally from a local startup. The creative director at Mortar will mm. be here to talk, yes, we'll be here to talk about how they can help entrepreneurs in our community. All that and so much more happening right here next week on Cincy Lifestyle. What Alan and the crew have done with Mortar is yeah, amazing. Unbelievable, if you yeah. look at the number of folks they've got who've yeah. graduated, mm -hmm. wow. Mm -hmm. You want to really stay tuned for that one. Because yes. that's going to be good. And if you're interested in being an entrepreneur, there is help for you out there. <laughs> and so look, we've got the Buckeye. Um, and these are cool. Definitely going to give this a go. Cozies. 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 And we've got the drink. And we have doing? the weekend. What's going to be your go-to food this weekend? Nominon nachos. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we are a nacho family here. Right. And that's Cincy Lifestyle. Make, Make it a, a great, great weekend. weekend. Thanks for watching our video. If you liked what you saw, hit that subscribe button. You can also check out full episodes of the show you've never seen before or watch your favorites again and again. And as always, Make it a great day.